episode of Shrimp. I'm your host, Almonia Gordon. Thank you for joining us today. Today, we want to look at the five major keys that are you. What are your five major key assets? When you show up, when you're in a community, people know, oh my gosh, this is who you are. I was recently at a a child's birthday party and my daughter ran in. They were at gymnastic and my daughter ran in and she said to someone, what's your name? Well, I'm not sure the line of question, but someone came out and they said to me, I just saw this little girl and she said, excellent. And that has to be your daughter. <laughs> and I thought, okay, it's possible. What do you bring that is distinctly you and are you aware of it? It's important to be aware of it because whether or not you know it, that is what you are selling. That's what people buy when they buy you. That's why people connect with you. Five major key assets. Mine, first one, my energy, my enthusiasm. Like, oh my God, this girl's like, I have a business partner. She swears I don't sleep because I'll be up at 2 a.m. like doing work, but I get up at 4 a.m. to start my day. <laughs> Don't ask me how that works. So enthusiasm, just always showing up, energized, having the best outlook, just being positive. Two, persistence. Hey, Mr. Humes, how are you? That's one of my mentor. He was introducing me to a business partner of ours. Uh, back in 2015 and he was giving me instructions to connect with someone else and I said to him well I you know don't know how and he goes we know how persistent you can be now why had he said that I was new into the business and I was looking for help and one of the reason I had chosen to connect with him was that everyone said to me, oh, why don't you ask Mr. Humes? He was a mailman like yourself. Ask Mr. Humes, he was a mailman like yourself. So I just kind of showed up persistently. Mr. Humes, could you help me? Mr. Humes, could you help me? Mr. Humes, could you help me? I mean, it got to the point that, yes, it probably was annoying, but that sometimes is how we're able to get the help we need. We can get system change we can get things corrected by being persistent and then awareness it's a it's a gift that i have i i'll come in and i'll and i'll see everything without even saying i've seen it you won't tell what i've seen the awareness of understanding people understanding their mood understanding where they're at that ability allows you to connect with them on a different level that someone who is not aware of who they are, where they're at, may not be able to do that. So I'm listing my five keys. I would love for the community to take time and find out what am I good at? Am I good at making someone smile? Oh my gosh, sell that. What was Steve Harvey good at? He was just good at telling jokes. And that's all he wanted to do. Tell jokes. Make people laugh. But it's important for us to recognize what it is. Because if you don't recognize what it is, you can't maximize it. And that's why I'm encouraging us as a community to spend time to see what are your five major keys. Five things that you could close your eyes, even your sleep, you're doing it. My sister says I used to sleep and wake up in the middle of the night and go unlock the door. As I was enthusiastic, I'm not sure who I was expecting, but I did that. <laughs> Thank you for stopping by this episode of Shift. On a serious note, please take time and write your five major key assets. What do you bring? What do you have to share with the rest of the world? And move into those major keys. Maximize them. 
Be who you are destined to be because then you show up differently and the results you receive are vastly different because the impact is that much more. Please remember to leave a comment, to subscribe, like, share, and like the second hand on the clock. Keep taking 60 tiny moves that you can come back tomorrow. God bless you. I love you. Have a good day.